Okay, welcome to episode 5 of One Lock Mega Minx OLL. Today we're going to be covering sets 14, 15, and 17, which is 12 cases altogether, and these make up the, I think, easiest remaining line EO sets. Um, so just like last week, all the cases here have pretty easy recognition and um, pretty nice algorithms. Um, this week only a couple of the cases are theory through transfers, unlike last week where it was like almost half of them. Um, so they might be a little bit harder to learn, but they're still generally like super short and fast algorithms. So I still think they're worth learning for anyone who, you know, cares about Megaminx. Um, this is also probably the last set, right? The last video where I think that's true. There are definitely lots of nice cases past this point, but I think probably every remaining set has either like some slightly different d difficult recognition or a few difficult cases in each set. And so it's like more diminishing returns past this point. I still think if you're serious about Mega Minx, you should just learn the whole thing. But um, if you know, you're looking for a stopping point, you're looking for like just the easy cases, this is probably the last video that I'd say is you know, super easy cases. Um, anyway, with that said, um, all of the algorithms that I mentioned will be listed down in the description, as well as links to a Megaminx OLL trainer and my Megaminx algs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLA algs that I use and recommend. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So first up we have set 15, which is the equivalent of this OLL set here on 3x3. Um, and, you know, it looks the same, except obviously we have uh, two edges here at the top of this kind of L shape rather than just one. If we do just have one at the top and we have two at the bottom, so it kind of goes inwards rather than outwards, um, then it's set 14, which we're going to cover next. But um, yeah, when it goes outwards like this, it's set 15. And apart from that, recognition works basically the same way that it does for Thera 3. So for these A cases, we have a bar at the front here, right? And then with the B cases, we don't have a bar at the front and we have one at the back. Um, the A cases have one at the back, just, just on the other side. But yeah, that's the A cases versus the B cases, and then plus and minus, so of course mirrors. So does this L shape point to the left, or does it point to the right? Um, so pretty straightforward recognition, and on to the algorithms. For 15A plus here, this case is a 3 by 3 transfer. So it's the equivalent of this OL case on 3 by 3 that I just showed. So for that case, you'd use this algorithm, and that's the same one we're going to use on Megaminx. So from this front angle, that looks like this. R prime F R U r prime f prime r f u prime f prime right just like that so super nice case for the second one here 15a minus this is actually just a transformation of the previous algorithm so it's mirrored and then rotated so it's still with fr and u so it's yeah with fr and u moves but it's just from the side angle so it looks like this f r prime f prime u prime with your middle finger then F R F prime, and then just insert this back pair with R prime U, which I drag with my uh, right ring, and then R, right? So, very nice algorithm. <laughs> if I can perform it without locking up. There you go. Now, as for these last two, I'm going to show you 15B minus first, because it should be very easy to learn, because... It's just um, that 15A minus algorithm, but then cancelled into a back ante soon, right? So it's going to start out the same way with F R prime F prime U prime F R F prime, but then rather than inserting this back pair, we're going to do back sexy and then insert it, right? Just like that. So pretty nice case. And then finally for this case here, um, 15B plus. This is a bit of a different algorithm, so it's from this back angle, but it's actually just a setup to um, 9b minus, which we taught in the second in the second episode of the series. Um, so you're actually just going to hold it from this angle and do L prime, and then 9b minus, which goes F U R U R prime U two prime F prime, and then finish off with an L, right? Just like that. So pretty nice case. So next up we have set 14. Um, so like I explained before, these are basically the same in recognition as the set 15 cases were. The only difference is that this top pattern looks a bit different, right? So there's just one edge at the top of this kind of L shape this time. So rather than sort of getting wider at the top, this one sort of narrows in kind of to a point. Um, so that's how I recognize it anyway, it like narrows in like that. Um, but other than that, um, it's basically the same as the set 15 recognition was. So for these A cases, we just have this bar at the front. For the B case, we have no bar at the front, and then there are mirrors. So the plus cases go left, and the minus cases point right. Um, so super straightforward recognition. As for the algorithms, none of them are 3x3 transfers, but these first two, 14a plus and minus, 
are the inverses of the 30a plus and minus cases that we learned last week, which are just the six move algorithms. So they're really nice. Um, this first one here, 14a plus, is essentially uh, f6 ef prime, but with u2 moves rather than u moves. So it looks like this. f r u2 r prime u2 prime f prime, right? Just like that. So super fast case and really easy to learn. For the second one here, um, 14a minus, there's, I guess, two options. What I do most of the time and what I recommend is just the back mirror of that previous algorithm. So that would be from this angle and it would look like this. br prime, r prime, u2 prime, r u2, br, right? With the br with your right brain like that. Um, so that's what I found to be the fastest. But I guess some people won't be amazing at that finger trick. So if you're not, then there's an alternative algorithm, which is from this angle. So you can use both of them, which is what I do. Um, but yeah, from this angle, and it's a little bit slower, but also a little bit safer. So I don't know, try them both out and see which works for you. But anyway, it looks like this. F U with your right ring, R U two prime, R prime, U prime, R U R prime, F prime. So that one's actually a three by three transfer. Um, but yeah. A little bit slower in my experience, but still pretty good. Anyway, um, for these 14b cases, these two are inverses of each other, um, so they should be pretty easy to learn. This first one here, 14b plus, is just from this algorithm, sorry, from this angle, and it looks like this. r prime u2, r u2, r prime f prime, u, f, r. So the, I guess, unique finger tricks there is that first u2 um, with your left index, and then those push F and U moves, right? Just like that. So reasonably nice case, just not quite as good as the A cases were. But anyway, this one here, 14B minus, like I said, is just the inverse. So it's gonna be from this angle and the algorithm looks like this. R prime, F prime, U prime, F, then R, U two prime, R prime, U two prime, R, right? Just like that. There you go, so pretty nice case. And finally, we have set 17. So this isn't really the equivalent of any 3x3 OLL set, um, but I think they're pretty distinctive cases that should be pretty easy to get used to. So the top pattern is this kind of like swirl shape, where it's like an S plus an edge sticking out. Um, and as far as the direction goes, I guess the plus cases are like an S, whereas the minus case are more like a Z, right? With those edges sticking out as well. So that's just saying they're mirrors, basically. Um, Anyway, as for the A and B cases, the A cases have these bars, right? Whereas the minus cases have no bars. So pretty easy to tell apart, I think. Um, now, as for the algorithms, this first one here, 17A plus, is kind of like this 3 by 3 OLL, right? But instead of doing R prime U prime, we're going to do R prime U2 prime. So it's just doubling up on the U moves. So from this angle, where we have this lone edge in the front, we're going to do this. R prime U2 prime sledge U2 R, right? So pretty basic finger tricks and very easy to learn algorithm. Um, for the second one here, 17a minus, there's two options, I guess. The first is that you can do the back mirror of the previous alg. So that would be from this angle, where we have that lone edge in the back right, and would look like that, right? So R, U2, back sledge, U2 prime, R prime. So I find that to be reasonably fast, and I use it for that angle, but my main algorithm is one I find to be slightly faster and slightly more consistent and it's from this angle, right? So we have the lone edge in the right, and we're gonna do this. F, drag U, R, U2 prime, R prime, U2, R, U, R prime, F prime, right? Just like that. So I personally prefer that out, but I would say try both of them out and see which one's faster and more consistent for you. Anyway, for 17B, um, these two cases are slightly weird in terms of finger tricks, um, but they're super easy to learn, and that's because they're just one move setups to f6 ef prime or back f6 ef prime for this case on the right. Um, so this first one, 17b plus, is going to be from this angle with the lone edge in the left, and it's going to look like this: bl prime, f6 ef prime, bl, right? And because the f and bl moves, we can do them at the same time at the start and the same time at the end, right? Just like that. So they might take some getting used to, but they're super fast cases once you are used to them. Um, so just, you know, practice them and you'll be glad you did. Um, 
Anyway, this last one here, 17b minus, is just the back mirror of that previous alg. So this time we're going to have the lone edge in the back left, and we're going to do this. L, BR prime, back sexy, BR, right, with our right ring, and L prime. And again, the L and BR prime can be done at the same time, like that. And then the final two moves can be done at the same time, like that. So super nice case, just practice it, and again, it'll be a really fast case once you're used to it. So that's this week's episode. See you later.